Let's talk about Ooblets. On July 31st, the Ooblets team released a statement called We Did The Thing, where they revealed that they will be going epic exclusive with the Patreon funded game. The statement was met with backlash, partially because of the growing number of people fed up with epic games, and partially because of the condescending tone throughout the statement. I was gonna let this slide because epic exclusivity deals and devs trying to sing epic's praises after is sadly nothing new, but it's how the Ooblets team handled the responses to the statement that made me angry enough to speak out. So, let's take it from the top. This is the intro to their statement, joking about Marx and capitalism, and sarcastically remarking about other exclusives in gaming or TV. This is also the first of a few instances in this post of whataboutism, which is deflecting criticism by instead talking about something else that people don't like. Already they're showing us that they aren't taking this too seriously and setting the general tone. The next section is them just explaining who Epic is for the uninformed, and that's mostly fine. It's a smart thing to do. The only part about the section that grinds my gears is where they do the whole GAMERS TM thing. Like, yeah, I know it's a meme about gamers being some kind of mentality or entity rather than somebody that enjoys a hobby, but in a little bit we'll take a look at their attitudes towards gamers, which, you know, doesn't come off too well. They then explain what the exclusivity is up front, and that's fine, though it's worth noting that they just say a pretty long while instead of the standard year contract for the duration, so we don't actually know how long it's going to be an exclusive. This next bit is called, Why'd We Do This? And just look at it. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. You could have and should have just said this, and you'd be perfect and respected. But nope! Down in the section called Angry at Epic, Us, The World, they shot themselves in the foot. They addressed the common and factual statement that Epic doesn't have as many features as other stores. They talk about how they haven't personally had issue with Epic, but it's okay and we should just give the launcher time to develop, like Steam had to develop from a barely functioning state 15 years ago. Here's why this argument is white noise to me, both here and whenever I see it anywhere else really. Epic Games Store is not competing with 2004 Steam, it is competing with 2019 Steam, and is nowhere near as versatile or user friendly. You can't parade yourself around as Steam's big competition, but then ask people to wait for you to upgrade a bit before they start comparing you. All that aside, Epic isn't making much effort to improve their store. Here's a screenshot of Epic's feature roadmap from my last video, recorded four months ago in April, and here's the roadmap today. Notice that huge things like reviews and shopping carts haven't moved. And yes, shopping carts are a big deal if the store locks you out for making many individual purposes. It's not petty, I'm sick of hearing it. Now, speaking of being user-friendly, they also bring up the fact that people find it anti-consumer for Epic to buy exclusives. They say it's fine because you just need a free installation and startup. That installation is not the biggest issue for most people, and to say it is means that you're either pretending or incredibly far out of touch with the industry. The Epic Games Store and launcher as a whole is anti-consumer. I already did a video on the broad strokes of this, so let me summarize how it is written. Tim Sweeney, head of Epic, said people should be able to choose their platforms. Yet he throws around money to make sure that can happen. Many games are now only available in one place, and that one place does not have integrated user reviews or forums of any kind. The Epic Store and Launcher is in an isolated bubble where you can't see any opinions on games on the store when purchasing. This is how developers want it, because no matter how kind or generous a developer might be, they are a business, and their goal at the end of the day is to make money. Anyway, after all that, they talked about how it's disappointing to see people pirating games that go to Epic. I will agree with them here. I have a great personal dislike for Epic and what they do, which, you know, is kind of obvious by this video. That being said, piracy is never the answer. It's the same as theft to me, and I personally believe it to be even more immoral than Epic's actions. Following this, though, we get a few bricks of whataboutism dropped on our collective heads. 
Why be mad about Epic when climate change, human rights abuse, Twitter UIs, and bad Game of Thrones writing exist? Climate change and the human rights issues the world faces today are both terrible, horrible situations that need immediate addressing. I won't deny that. But using those issues as something to hide behind when you make people on the internet angry is disgusting. They have nothing to do with the conversation. Stop trying to deflect it away from you. Like I said, that all got me in a sour mood, but I didn't intend to make a video about just that statement. It's annoying, sure, but a full video on all that is just unwarranted. What made me put my foot down is when I went to the Ublit subreddit to see if I was the only one annoyed with this. Imagine my surprise when I found nobody mentioned it at all. Interesting. In fact, nobody's mentioned anything in a day. The subreddit moderators locked it and deleted all posts about Epic. Oh, the subreddit mods are the developers! How convenient! Also, hilariously enough, now a post about them being self-published from last month is just there on the main page, clear as day. But yeah, this is, this is blatant censorship. Some people said they don't like what we did. Now nobody gets to speak here. The only currently available place to discuss Ooblets is the official Discord, where the developers are more than happy to make their opinions known. The developers in the Discord aren't exactly being... kind? Let's start with this one, where the devs are now seemingly disregarding their own Patreon backers. Especially unfortunate considering some of their most loyal backers are in situations like this and unable to get the game at launch despite their loyalty because Epic doesn't have game keys, though the developer doesn't really seem to care. There's statements like this as well. Sure, it's true you made the game and paid for it, but backers on Patreon paid for it too. They helped, and to continue disregarding your patrons, it's flat out disrespectful. This one showed up after the announcement as well. Remember, if you weren't in the Discord, you're a fake fan. Here's the developer also insulting people who don't like the epic deal, as a mature adult does, of course. That one came from a whole collage filled with more of these responses. I'll be upfront that I got all these images from a thread on the Ublet Steam forums, which is linked in the description below with all my other sources for this video. So, yeah. That's everything that's gone down with Ooblets in the past few days. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments below, and subscribe if you want us to do more of this type of coverage on stuff happening in the games industry, not necessarily just on Epic, but games news in general. It's pretty fun for me to do, but I'm not gonna just throw my time at it if you guys don't want to see it. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to spread the happy and stay rusty.